everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to string up your guitar where you basically make locking tuners so there's no slipping of the strings. It's a really awesome technique. Check it out. Well, I was changing my guitar strings here and decided I would show you my method on how I change guitar strings so that take normally normal tuners that are not locking tuners and turn them into uh, kind of a locking tuner with the way that I wrap the string. All right, I've already got my strings uh, put into my bridge. So I'm gonna just kind of one by one pull these up. But basically what we're gonna do is push the string in and if you can get it where the, the pole goes kind of straight this way, then what you're gonna do is take the, 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 the piece here and maybe leave, leave just a little bit of slack so that it wraps around just a little bit, but you don't need a ton. Um, so let's see here, we're kind of, uh, we're given a, you know, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's maybe, maybe enough to put a couple fingers in, pull it up just a little bit, but not like a, not up way up here, you know, lifting it up a bunch. Um, we're just kind of, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of slack enough to get your fingers in there. Then over here, what you're gonna do is take your finger, push down here so your the slack is 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 constant. You know it's not gonna slip. Then you're gonna take the string and feed it underneath. So you know these are all you know six in a line uh, tuners, but you're gonna kind of if you had uh, three and three in this side, you'd always kind of point towards the middle. So on a strat, you're gonna always point this way. Um, but if you had you know the these three on this side, you would you would do this that way, if that makes sense. So you're always gonna kind of uh, go in like this. So we're going down the middle. Then we're wrapping around again, okay? So we went, we took it, we went around underneath this string and then over. And what it's doing is it's creating like a little lock right here so that when I wrap this, it will actually wrap over that string right there and it clamps it down where there's no way for it to go. So let me show you what the, the I'm gonna just kind of do this real fast and so you can see, um, see the process on these again. Give them a little bit of tension. I'm gonna give a little bit more, a little bit more slack. I mean, uh, so you can see what I mean by the, the loop around. So I'm, I'm kind of crimping it a little bit, going underneath. And then over like that and so um, then that will lock itself when I tighten this up so I'm pushing down so that I'm wrapping kind of under Then hopefully you can kind of see this in the angle that I've got here, but I'm going underneath that string right there. So see how I went under that? I'm not gonna go on top of it. See how that's kind of underneath that? That's what you wanna do. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this up real fast. Crimp the angle. That just gets a good good spot for it to lock down on. So I'm locked down, I go over, and I just kind of push my thumb down a little bit there just to make sure that, that that gets on there. Keep my tension. Again, making sure on this side I'm going underneath. So both of those I went under, under. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Sorry, it's not the best camera angle here, but you get the idea. You can see kind of what's happening here. Again, I'm going, so on the on these guys, you know, if you were uh, basically whatever side you're winding it on, you know, so like on the, all these, you can see they're, they're wound on this side. That's where you angle this over. But, so, you know, if you were on like a Gibson Les Paul or something where there was three and three, under tuners, you know, this would be on this side 
and so I would it would be wound on the inside instead of on, on, on this side so I would actually pull it this way and go underneath does that make sense hopefully so anyway here we go once you have that that crimped a little bit you you can kind of loosen up the tension and you'll be okay because it already has that angle made this one I left a lot of slack so you can really see what I mean by looping it around see how those all they're all looping underneath each other they're not like going up one's over and one's under okay last one here by the way these these uh these little um string trees these are the the spinning ones and I really like them they they are they're nice these little spinning string trees they do very very good they don't stick as much if you're bending a string or if you're using your whammy bar every time you're bending the string putting pressure it's trying to move back and forth it's kind of going this way slightly i mean it's you know microscopic almost but it's there it's moving so another thing you can do is take some graphite from a pencil and put that on the string trees and it will it will help out with that as well just because graphite makes it real slick okay once i got these on uh if i can find my little cutters then you just take them and just snip up here There you go. And now I'm just going to tune her up, stretch the strings a little bit, and we're in good shape. I'm looking forward to playing this guy. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, comment button, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in another video.